गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द ई लर्निंग प्रोग्राम ऑफ विद्यापति पब्लिक स्कूल एंड आई एम बसंत कुमार टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट योर फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज क्लॉज एंड द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सेंटेंस एट फर्स्ट वी विल हैव अ लिटिल बिट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ क्लॉज सो वी विल स्टार्ट विद द डेफिनेशन व्हाट इज क्लॉज एज आई हैव रिटन हियर अ क्लॉज is a group of words that forms a part of a sentence it has a subject and predicate so it is very clear sub clause is the group of words just like sentence but it is only a part of sentence or we can say that clause is the combination of two sentences and each sentence is having subject and predicate so here we are getting two terms that is subject and predicate so first i need to define what is subject so we can define subject in two ways there are two definitions of subjects first one is very common very easy that is doer of any sentence is known as subject doer means the part of sentence that walks or that x something for example ram goes to school here ram is subject because ram is doing something ram is going to school so ram is subject but the second definition of subject is it is the part of sentence which about which we talk something this time subject is not doing doing anything but we are talking about the subject only for example ram is a good boy here ram is also subject but here ram is not doing anything we are talking about ram only that ram is a good boy so ram is subject now moving to next part of the sentence that is predicate predicate it is also the part of sentence that tells us something about this subject for example ram is a good boy first part is subject and second part is predicate here ram is subject and second part of the sentence is predicate so this is all about subject and predicate now we will move to the kinds of clause so basically there are two kinds of clause first one is main clause or principal clause or independent clause there are three names of main clause principal clause and independent clause second kind of clause is subordinate clause and dependent clause now what is main clause and what is subordinate clause so it is very clear from its name only that main clause principal clause or independent clause independent clause means the kind of clause that is completely independent to express its meaning it does not depend on any sentence to express its meaning second part is subordinate clause or dependent clause it is also very clear from its name only that subordinate clause or dependent clause it is depending on main clause to express its meaning here i have written some examples i have a bag which is black so there are two parts means there are two sentences first one is i have a which is black first part is known as main clause or principal clause or subordinate clause and second part is subordinate clause in short we can write sc 
In second sentence, this one is principal clause, and this part is subordinate clause. So now we are very clear about clause and its kinds with example. But while talking about subordinate clause, here are some kinds of subordinate clause also. There are three kinds of subordinate clause. First one is noun clause. Second one is adjective clause. Clause. Noun clause, adjective clause, and adverb clause. Here we can see it is noun and it is clause. Means the kind of clause which acts as noun is known as noun clause. Second one is adjective clause. It is also very clear from its name only. Adjective and clause means the kind of clause which, which acts as an adjective. And last one is adverb clause means the kind of clause which acts as an adverb is known as adverb clause. So this is all about clause kinds and its definition with example. In next class we will learn more or in detail about the kinds of subordinate clause. So it is my humble request to all of you, please go through this video very clearly and get each and everything very clearly. So thank you very much for today. Have a nice